Hello and welcome everyone to another tips and tricks video. My name is Radu and today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your Windows 10 and maybe Windows 8.1 if you haven't upgraded yet. So the first thing I'm going to do when I install Windows, yes you can use these tips even though you're not installing Windows on a fresh laptop. So notification and action settings and you're gonna make sure that all of these are unchecked. Maybe you want to show some notification in the Windows bar so I'm going to leave get notification from apps and other senders to on but I'm going to disable first thing get tips and tricks and suggestions as you use Windows. This option allows Windows to search all over your files and monitor what you're doing right now so it can offer you tips on improving and installing other apps. That means sometimes if you use Task Manager, you're going to see the performance of the main drive, the Windows drive, going up to 99%. That's because Windows is indexing right now whatever files you're moving, whatever apps you're using, and how do they work. You have to leave this unchecked because it's not going to help you, it's not going to understand and work better. On the contrary, it's going to use more hard drive space. If you have a slow SSD or maybe a hard drive, maybe it's time to upgrade, it's gonna get really, really slow. The other thing I'm going to do is uncheck the show me Windows ex welcome experience. After any update, you're going to see that welcome experience, you have to keep click next, maybe input some settings. You don't want to see that after every update, especially right now when Windows is going to update itself more often. Maybe I'm going to allow notifications to play sounds, I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't, I'm not actually interested in notifications from Windows because I, I don't want to see every app in the corner of my desktop. So another thing I'm going to do to improve the Windows experience, if you have an SSD, you just have to click right, hit properties, go to tools and optimize. Every Windows has a trim option. Every SSD has a trim option and most of them are recognized by Windows. I'm going to click optimize all uh, and right now they're set to weekly optimization. It's okay, but if you copy a lot of data, you might want to set the optimization, let's say for uh, the other drive to daily. What does it do? It actually clears the garbage collected on your SSD without using any third party software. And that's a good thing. You don't want any third-party software. Speaking of third-party software, you might want to go into Start Menu and start looking at your apps that are pre-installed with Windows or maybe with your laptop. Right now I have uh, Asus, Asus Sim Pro Dock. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Asus Business Manager, mm, I don't think I'm going to use it either. either. So right-click and uninstall. Right click for the audio wizard and uninstall. You're not going to lose anything. You don't need this type of customization. I recommend leaving the audio output to, I don't know, Spotify or YouTube or any other option you have. Now, if you're installing Windows right now, uh, you can see that Windows comes with Candy Crush Saga. I mean, come on, Microsoft, I'm not going to play Candy Crush, even though it's a very popular game. I'm not going to play it on my desktop, maybe on a Windows phone, if I still have one, but I don't. So uninstall any games that you have. Another thing you can do, well, I see that I have Netflix right here. I don't recommend using Netflix unless you don't have a bigger monitor. Let's say I'm going on a trip or somewhere, I'm going to leave the Netflix app because the app actually uh, looks a lot better than the browser version. Another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check other apps like Mixed Reality Portal. Yes, I'm not gonna use it anytime soon. Uninstall, uninstall. Paint 3D, although it's a fun app, you can start it once and then uninstall it because you're not gonna use it any day soon. Sticky notes, okay. Spotify, Snip and Sketch, that's a useful tab. Voice recorder, I don't think so. Weather. Uninstall weather, come on, you don't need weather on your laptop, you have weather on your smartphone, you have weather outside, sunny weather, go outside and play in the sunny weather and install the, the weather. Xbox console companion, no thank you, I don't have an Xbox and if I did, I'm not going to use that. So this is the second option, get rid of any apps, any apps that bother you and you haven't used since, since buying your laptop or desktop or installing Windows, you're not going to use anytime soon and they're just gonna clog up your memory and your storage space. 
One more thing, go to Test Manager, this is the third option, and go to Startup. As you can see, right now I only have five things. I recommend leaving Windows Security not Notification to on because it doesn't have so much startup Im impact. I'm going to disable Spotify. It's, oh, it's already disabled. I'm going to disable Logitech Download Assistant. No, I don't need any third-party software. The drivers are already installed, so you don't need any more apps just to make your computer will start a lot slower. The fact is, you, if you disable all these apps in the startup menu, your computer will start in about 10 to 15 seconds if it's, let's say, cleanish. If it's not, it's going to take a lot more time to open the apps all and all and all after you start your operating system. So, keep it clean. We were talking earlier about the Windows Search settings. So, the main option is to go to Windows Search, Settings, Hit enter and switch to classic mode. Why classic? Because you don't need Windows to index all of the apps that you're using, but just, let's say, the secondary hard drive when you where you have your photos, your movies, and maybe your documents. That's it. You just need to find a file, not every file in every program installed in your computer. This means Windows is not going to search every hour for every new file that you install on your computer. Maybe you have a game that you installed recently that's gonna take like 3,000 files and 50 gigabytes. You don't need Windows to index that game. You, only have, you already have a shortcut on your desktop, so that's it. One more thing, talking about installing apps, the way to do it faster is just to disable user account control. You know that thing that pops up every time you install a new software? Well, you can disable. It's called user account control. You search it, click enter and you go to never notify and yes one more thing if you want your operating system to work a lot faster and yes this works for macOS as well you have to make sure that you have enough free space on the drive that it's installed in so from my OS drive I have 143 gigabytes free of 189 that's about 25% occupied by Windows and the other programs. You have to make sure that it's at least 40% free because that's the way SSDs work. If you fill all the SSD, it's going to run a lot slower. It needs about 30 to 40% to run, let's say in basic parameters. So if the operating system partition looks like this, you need to fix that. You need to move some data to another partition, to another hard drive, make it work faster. These are just the basic settings. We have another video coming up with a lot more things to do for Windows and maybe later for macOS. You can always improve an operating system just by making some small tweaks. Now, if your Windows or macOS is installed more than two years ago, you might want to think about resetting your PC or maybe do a fresh reinstall of the operating system because all the data left behind from the apps you installed and uninstalled it's going to make it a lot slower and if you're a heavy gamer you know what i mean and if you have a friend who doesn't know about these tips you might want to share in this video that's it for today my name is radu and i'm going to see you in the next one cheers